This was our end game for the day, but I want this video to be about how I use the small tractor with a post hole digger. Ain't that awesome? We're putting in underground power for our barn or in our travel trailer. We're gonna do a whole video on the RV and barn power hookup. I moved my PTO quick attach adapter over to the new T25. If you guys watch my channel, you know how much I dislike the uh, original PTO hookups with all of the safety shields and stuff that's required now. I, I get the safety shield part, but it makes it so hard to hook up that it, it's almost impossible to use. This works. I brought the posto digger over a few days earlier and just pushed it off in the grass here. We got it hooked up and I want you to take a look at this. The boom on this posto digger has three top settings. That's very important with a posto digger and a small tractor. You'll need those multiple settings. I want to pause right here to point this out. Some of the old style posto diggers just won't work with a small tractor. Before we started this project, we called 811 and had them come out and mark all the utilities. It looks like we we're going to be in pretty good shape. I got everything measured out and I'm backing the tractor up just right over the first hole. Before I do that, I got to adjust the three point hitch. You don't want the uh, postal auger to become a screw and pull itself into the ground. So you want it to actually drop slowly like, I, like you see here. By dropping slowly, it keeps the post hole digger from uh, screwing into the ground and it actually causes it to pull the dirt up out of the hole. Hey, you guys stay with me and I'll show you a trick that will save you so much headache. I've seen people that have used post hole diggers their whole life and not know how to do this or just not figured it out yet. I want to say right now though, I am impressed with the uh, T25. It has, I, I've not even turned the throttle up here. It just uh, is just powering right through this at idle. And you see here that I'm centering my hole up and still, you know, finding the nuances of the tractor, uh, but I, you know, I got it figured out. Uh, throughout this whole thing, I never, I never increased the throttle. Again, I was really impressed with that. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking a little bit bigger bite each time and pulling the dirt up out of the hole. At the end of the day, I want to have a clean bottom hole, and this is going to be my trick. Trick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is such a simple thing once you see it, but so many people don't do it. So all you do is you turn off the tractor's PTO and then you go back to the back and do this. You just spread the dirt out from around the hole so it can't fall back in the hole. That's not the whole, that's not the whole trick. Just stay with me here and I'll show you what it is. Let me break in here. I should have used a yard rake or you turn the tractor off before getting back here and messing around with it. This is one I'm just gonna have to own up to and say, you shouldn't do this. Once you get the dirt pushed out of the way, you get back on the tractor and you just gently pick up the post hole digger, uh, making sure not to knock the dirt off and then just ease forward. You can still see that I'm struggling with this tractor because it's new, uh, but I'll get it figured out completely soon enough that every new tractor has its nuances. Then once you pull forward, you just spin the PTO uh, real fast and throw the dirt off. It rained a lot yesterday, and normally you can just spin this and throw it off and it would be clean, but it kind of stuck to it. The next thing we did was just start at mountain post. We moved on to post two, and this one went even better. Away we go. Hey, come back and check out our next video where we show you how to use this new foam stuff to put in a pole. And this is structurally rated stuff. I'm never using concrete again.